hi guys it's mimi welcome back to my vlog it's wednesday i just got through filming a video i'll probably look a hot mess because i got a little emotional heart's hurting a little bit but um it's gonna be okay anywho i had bought this painting and it's really pretty we need to like hang it up or whatever and my mom got us like more pillows and they have these cute little dangly thingies but the only thing about it is when you're like sitting back on them these get in your back they kind of hurt <laughs> but they're so soft they're like really really soft you guys i think i've only read three books so far this month and it's the 20th and i thought i'd be doing way better but i went on a trip before this and my aunts were in town so i wasn't really reading at all but last night i went ahead and finished well let me show you guys what i've finished so far one second <sighs> sorry about that y'all so um the first book i finished was scythe by near the the first book i finished was scythe by neil schusterman i really enjoyed this book i gave it four and a half stars i really really liked it and I also read The Last Namsara by Kristen Cicerelli, which I gave four and a half stars. And then I read, last night I finished Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I still really like her writing. I gave this book also four and a half stars. So that's my third book of the month. Now I am reading a Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. I am 100 pages in. I think I might have been 100 pages in if I last updated you guys, but I'm 100 pages in. I'm gonna see if I can finish this by tomorrow. And then, well, let me show you guys the other books. Hold on. Sorry about that, I'm back. Um, So I also need to finish reading these two books that I already started which is probably what I'm gonna attack next and that's The Host by Stephanie Meyer which I am still only 70 pages into and Morningstar by Pierce Brown which I am 164 pages into this one so those are the next two I'll probably work on after Court of Thorns and Roses and then the last three books that I'm supposed to read, which honestly, I probably won't finish all of these. I really want to try though, but I think I'm doing a good job with everything that's been going on, but I still have to read The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. Um, I haven't started this book. And Nevernight by Jay Kristoff, which the text is like super tiny in this book. Well, yeah, the text is like uber tiny, so I probably won't finish that one. But, and also, Unforgivable Love by Sephronia Scott. This book doesn't seem like it would be too hard to read, and I haven't yet. So, yeah, I've only read three books, and it's the 20th already. But I'm in the middle of three as well, so hopefully I can finish these pretty pretty quickly. But here's my February. I don't know if y'all can see that. My little ratchet February spread. I guess I'm gonna do some reading or editing, probably editing. Go ahead and get that video I just filmed up and then I can hopefully post vlogs soon. But yeah, that's what's going on guys. Oh, and I got this sweatshirt. It's PlayStation. Um, has the buttons on the sleeve, which I am kind of obsessed with. So, just thought I'd show that. Anywho, see y'all. Okay, you guys, so I kind of forgot to say one more thing. Um, when I got back in town from my trip, Ahmed got a new phone and he decided to also go ahead and get me something. And he got me AirPods, which I'm super excited about. I love them so far just because like, the thing about having the iPhone 10 that's very annoying is that your headphone jack and your charging jack are in the same exact place so you can't charge and listen to headphones at the same time. 
unless you have Bluetooth headphones, which these are. I like that I can use them on my laptop and my phone. And something I really like with the AirPods is that when I'm talking on the phone with them on, I can have them in with my hijab on and whoever I'm talking to can still hear me. So that's awesome. I really like that. I've been enjoying them a lot so far. So yeah, and he got them like at a really discounted price because of where he works. So that was awesome and very sweet. Thank you, boo, I love you. That's it, I just wanted to tell y'all that as an update, but yeah. Here's a fire that's happening. Please enjoy as the flames lit up into the sky. Oh, that joint zoomed all the way in. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> that is not hot. <laughs> I'm showing the power wire guy that we oh, sent yeah, out here. Um, so. I'm not gonna say no names, but uh. You could just say we. Oh no, I'm not a we. <laughs> you are. I'm not a part yes, of this we are. that knocked down power we lines. Are. But Mom. if you can see here, that tree, um, <laughs> we'll just say it mysteriously fell <laughs> and knocked down those power lines. And now there's a guy, if I could sneak you enough, get it over in that vicinity, who's trying to fix what was broke by we over here. It's like, <laughs> no, I did not. I had nothing to do with any of it. But yeah, that's the current situation. And also, this is a family event happening on Ahmed's side, um, barbecue. <laughs> What? Oh, chips? Sure. Excuse my left hand, brother. Hi, Jimmy. Let's vlog. I was upstairs and I saw her vlog and I just had to come and get in her vlog because I'm her favorite twin. And you guys, <laughs> my name's Odwan. We're having a fire here. Power went out and I can't charge my phone. So now I'm literally dead. I have 20% on my phone. 20%. That sounds like a really big problem. Like, what if we honestly like just had to go hunting or something for like no battery? You know, but it's not important me having a phone right now. You can't do anything. You think it's Wi-Fi in it? Um, yeah. Can you, can you charge your what? phone from here? Uh, I don't know. I really <laughs> doubt it. I don't think so. Wow. Wow. Yeah. This is the Samsung Galaxy S10 by Samsung. Yeah. Oh, my God, Flex. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> well, I, did well. I don't even know how to say it. <laughs> Today we were at a family gathering. We're having a lot of fun. Show Liz, she is vlogging and ruining the whole movie. That was great. I know. I don't, no. think, I don't know what to do when other people are like in the frame with me, so I'm gonna let you take the lead. Give me a hug. Oh, say you love me. Calm down. Say you love me. I love you. I love you too. I feel like I'm being forced at like gunpoint. <laughs> you love me? <laughs> so much. Oh, you go, bye. oh, bye. Peace out. <laughs> oh, snap. This should come out in about Ooh. three weeks. Did you get that? <laughs> kind of, sort of. Oh, it's everything's on fire. 
Hi guys, so we're in Walmart and um, I'm very tired and sick and he doesn't want to be here. I don't really want to be here but my heart calls and I have to answer. That's insane. All that is chalk. This reminds me of a vlog I filmed a long time ago. Calm it. Calm it. It's Why do you have a Easter. chocolate cross? <laughs> oh yeah, Easter is a Christian holiday. <laughs> yeah, look. Don't, don't, don't be alright. <laughs> we need to get him out of here. Anyways, a sister I know, I'll link her channel down below is leaving. Sister Sabrina. Um and I didn't want to show up empty-handed tomorrow at her goodbye luncheon. So I got some stuff and things I'm putting together. Please sister, excuse the um, little bunnies on my basket, but. <laughs> you me some bunny food, so. Bunny. <laughs> so um, I got this stuff and I'm just putting it all in a basket and then I have a card. And I think it's gonna be really cute, even though it's kind of ratchet, but. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna be cute. Hopefully she likes it. I'm sorry if you don't, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Look at all this Easter candy. This whole aisle is just Easter candy. That's kind of high key ridiculous, just saying. <laughs> FYI. I guess because I'm Muslim, I just, I'd be trying to figure out like when people actually have time to celebrate all these holidays every time they happen. I don't really get it. <laughs> Here's the real candy. Yeah, the real, so real. Uh, I don't want these baby Martinelli's. They're so cute. And look this ratchetness. Somebody drank the drink out of the bag. have twist tops, so you gotta use the bottle opener on them. I don't know. They got that official tissue packaging, though. Real talk, talk to little, little. So I finished making my little card. I'm gonna put it in my little basket. Somehow. <laughs> so I put a Martinelli's in here, a candle. Um, I have this, the body spray, some magnetic bookmarks, a notebook. Book. Well, it's kind of like a to-do list notebook, some bath bombs, and the card. So hopefully she likes it. I hope so, inshallah. 